Welcome guys, my name is Ricardo Pereira and today I'm going to show you how to consume a REST API. So don't leave and learn Mendix with me. For this tutorial, I'm going to use this public API. I'm going to leave the link in the description so you can follow the tutorial with me. First thing we can do is to click in the button test endpoints. As you can see, it generates a result, and every time we click in this endpoint, we'll generate a new answer. And also click in example response, and then click in copy to copy the structure of the JSON. In Studio, we can go to the, our module and right click, add other, and JSON structure. For the name, we can the JSON underscore notes. We can copy and paste the JSON structure and click in refresh. We can also check if the, all the names are correct. In this case, we can change the root name to note. And click OK. Now we can also create an import mapping to use this JSON. So click in import mapping. Let's change the name to I am underscore notes. Click OK. And here we, we are going to select JSON structure as a schema source. We can select, select the JSON codes, and now we can select the attributes that we want to use. In our case, we can select content, URL, language code, and also name. Click OK, and we can click in map automatically. We can close and as you can see it generates automatically one non-persistent entity with the attributes that we select before now to see everything that was import we can use a page to do it so add page let's use blank uh, templates and use as a name codes overview Navigation layout, you can keep it at least default and click OK. In this page, we can select a, a data view. Data source, you can go to Microflow. Select Microflow and let's create a new one. With the name, we can write something like ES. Goat. Get. Data. Click in show and click OK. Inside the microflow, we can search for REST service and drag and drop inside the logic. Double click on it, search for location, and here in templates, we can copy the link that is available on the website. Here on the website, you can click in code snippet and find the URL. You can just copy it. And paste it here. Click OK. You can go again and go to HTTP headers. In our case, we are not going to use the basic authentication. We are going to use the headers for it. If we go back to the website and see that there are some headers as a parameters. We can just copy the name of the headers and paste it here as a key. And also click OK. And also the other one. 
for the host we can use this value that is right here for the key we need to see the key that is associated with our account to check this api you can go to the profile click in personal billing my apps click in the default application go to authorization and as you can see you should have one entry here if you don't have create a new one in my case i'm just going to copy the api key double click again the call rest service go to http headers and i'm going to paste the value on the key header we can also create a, a handling just in case there is any problem during the, the rest call so right click that error handling type we can select between a custom with rollback or without rollback in our case we can select without rollback click on ok let's grab and add other elements and event we can go to the toolbox search for message and select activity show message double click type we can use warning here in template and just add one so to use some parameters and here we can just use latest error slash click ok ok again if you go back to the call rest service you can go to response response handling in our case we are going to apply import mapping import mapping you should select the one that we create before or in a variable yes you can give it a name so code and click ok right click inside the action and we are going to return it as a value you can go to properties and give some permissions to the users so we can also give permission to the page or we can go to the navigation invisible for a select one rule or we can go to security page access if the page don't show up we can click in show and use pages and select the user and save and now let's put some inputs here so we can just drag and drop the name url content and the language code as you can see we have one error inside the application so let's click and see what is happening so in this case it's missing We have a return value if the rest call is not successfully done so let's double click inside the end event and just return empty so everything looks good let's just add this page on the navigation so new item Code and show a page select what's overview click ok you can go to the main model double click access rules new user and also click in reads and writes 
and also to auto create a new object and also delete click ok and ok again so let's execute the project After you run the project, you can click in view app, username, MX admin, password one. Go to the home page. If you click in codes, you can see that every time you click, go to this page, a new content is generated. So every time that you click in this page, a new request is done to the REST call. And that's it for today. Don't forget to leave the like and subscribe to the channel. So, see you soon.